Today we're going to be talking about common logarithms. And I've already prefaced this in a previous lesson. So using a calculator, evaluate log 6 to the nearest 10,000th. And remember that's four decimal places. Because we're going to be doing that a lot. Okay? When there's no base written there, remember that means base 10. So our calculator has a built-in base 10. And actually in this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how you can now calculate any logarithm you want, even if it's any base you want, by using our log button. So you find the log button, you press 6, enter, gives us this value. Now we went to the nearest 10,000, so I'm looking for four decimal places, so that's 778. You round to the first, but you have to look at the number behind it. That number is greater than 5, greater than or equal to 5, so that rounds up to 0 0.7782, and that's our answer. Okay, so just typing in your calculator. Literally, can't do it without a calculator. Make sure you have your calculator. Okay, use a calculator to find log base 10. Remember, that's base 10 to the nearest 10,000th. So again, keystrokes, log 0.35, enter, and your answer is negative 0.4559. Okay, so an application of this, and you will need your calculator for this, the loudness L in decibels of a sound is given by this equation. So loudness L is given by that equation where I is the intensity of the sound, M is the minimum intensity, the sound of a jet plane can reach a loudness of 125 decibels. So notice they kind of gave me a hint here. It's the loudness, so that's L. 125 decibels, how many times the minimum intensity of an audible sound is that if M is defined to be 1? So what you do, loudness is 125, so we plug in 125 for L equals 10 log I over M, which is 1. So really this becomes 125 equals 10 log I. If I divide both sides by 10, I get 12.5 equals log i. So now I have to solve for i. I write that as an exponential. My base is 10 to the 12.5 is equal to the intensity. Okay, So it's 10 to the 12.5 times as intense. Or if you type this in your calculator, you get something like 3.162 times 10 to the 12th power. Remember, in your calculator, scientific notation is written like that. There's a, and there was a whole other bunch of decimal places, I just didn't write them down. And then there was an E12. Remember, the E means times 10 to the 12th. Okay, solve that equation, round to the nearest 10 thousandths. So again, you need your calculator for this. You can't do this without a calculator. So we're talking about common logarithms. If I take the log base 10 of both sides, when I take the log base 10 of both sides, I can bring down my exponent down in front. So that becomes x times the log Base five, log base 10 of 5 equals the log of 62. Now remember, this is times it. Log 5 is a number, so I can divide by that number. So x is going to equal the log of 62 divided by the log of 5, and that as a decimal ends up being 2.5. Five, six, four, three. And I can again, I can't do this without a calculator. So you need to have a calculator in order to do this. Next example, now an inequality. Three to the seven x 
is greater than 2 to the 5x minus 3. I'm again going to take the log of both sides. Remember, taking that log enables me to bring down my whole exponent and put it in front. So on the left side, we have 7x times by the log of 3. That's greater than, keep the 5x minus 3, your exponent in parentheses. Now this is the challenging part. You need to remember that log base 2, that's a number. It's like 5 or something like that. So what you want to be able to do now is you want to take this log base 2 and distribute it in to both terms. So I have on the left side, I have 7x log 3. Remember, these are all multiplication symbols in here. Greater than 5x times log 2 minus 3 times the log of 2. I just distributed the log 2 to both terms. Now, in order to solve this inequality, you need to get the x terms on one side. So I get my x terms on one side, anything that has an x in it on one side. So I subtract the 5x log 2 over to the other side. Now I factor out my x. Okay, now I divide by 7 log 3 minus 5 log 2 on both sides. So we get x is greater than negative 3 log 2 divided by, in parentheses, 7 log of 3 minus 5 log 2. And then when you actually get that value, x is greater than negative 0.4922. Okay. You might want to find the 7 log 3 minus 5 log 2 first to see, because I'm using an inequality, see if that number is negative, because when I divide, remember if it's negative you need to switch the sign, but <clears throat> with this one it wasn't negative, so that was easy on us. Change of base formula. This is a super important formula. This is so that I can now find any logarithm in my calculator. Okay, so now I can use this to find any logarithm in my calculator. So our change of base formula is log base A of n. Okay, you do log your new base, base B of n, over divided by log base B of A. So now using your common logarithms, you do log base 10 of 11 divided by log base 10 of 3. So express this in terms of common logarithms, then run, then find that in your calculator to the nearest 10,000th. So how I remember it is log base 10 of 140. The bigger number goes on top, divided by log base 10 of 5. I type that in my calculator. Remember, you don't need to put those bases in your calculator because the calculator already has base 10 in there and we get 3.0704. Okay, um, you have four lesson questions. You're gonna need your calculator for them, so please make sure you guys have your calculator, and please make sure those are submitted on time for me.